Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on tibial pylon fracture. Tibial pylon fractures, also known as plafond fractures, are severe injuries affecting the distal tibia. These fractures are characterized by articular impaction, severe comminution, and are often associated with considerable soft tissue injury. As such, they are complex injuries and often require specialist input. For clinical features, patients will present with a history of trauma. They will complain of severe ankle pain and an inability to weight bear. On examination, there may be an obvious ankle deformity, with associated significant swelling and bruising. In addition, skin blistering may occur over several hours. Also, look for open fracture or signs of compartment syndrome and assess the neurovascular status. Classification The Ruetti and Allgauer classification is a simple classification system used to describe the severity of pylon fractures. Type 1 is undisplaced intraarticular fracture. Type 2 is displaced intraarticular fracture. And type 3 is comminuted or impacted fracture. Investigations Urgent bloods, including a coagulation and group and save, should be sent. If suspecting a pathological cause, do a serum calcium and myeloma screen. For imaging, plain film radiographs of the ankle should be requested. With AP, lateral, and mortise views, CT scan can be done for further anatomical assessment. This picture is an X-ray showing a right pylon fracture. For management, initial management of a pylon fracture involves realignment of the limb and application of a below-knee back slab. Repeat neurovascular assessment and check plain film radiograph. Elevate limb and monitor for compartment syndrome. Keep patient nil by mouth with IV fluids. Prepare for surgery. For surgical management, a staged approach is often the preferred management option, especially if significant soft tissue swelling. This involves the application of a temporary spanning external fixator followed by definitive fixation. 7 to 14 days later once the soft tissues have had the opportunity to heal. When definitive fixation does take place, it is best performed under traction, such as that provided by an external fixator. An alternative is to do fusion of ankle with hind foot nail. In older patients or when definitive fixation has failed, complications include compartment syndrome, wound infection or dehiscence, delayed or non-union, and post-traumatic arthritis. That's all for this video. Thank you.